the days after the fire, as I was standing underneath the wreck of Grenfell, I, I was pretty convinced that Grenfell would become the catalyst for societal change, that, that things would not be the same as they were before Grenfell, as a result of Grenfell. Six years later on, the kind of frustration that we felt at the lack of change is beginning to ferment into kind of anger, really. And to date, there hasn't been a single arrest, you know, not, not a single pink of handcuffs for any of the perpetrators of the fire. And I, I know it's a cliche, but, you know, justice delayed is justice denied. And we can't go on for much longer without people being held to account. <laughs> Seventy-two people lost their lives inside that building, and I think you know the understanding is is that the bereaved need to be at the very forefront of any decisions that are made about the future of the tower. When those decisions are made, we're going to need an enormous amount of pragmatism, an enormous amount of compassion and understanding among ourselves as a community because no individual is going to get exactly what they want on that site.